was just kind of like, I have changed a lot since I first started. I wave waving show me cold please <gasps> cold it's cold so good morning hello welcome back to my channel my name is karina and i am an slpa sharing speech my family and lifestyle here on youtube you guys did just see my son in his gymnastics class for a little bit he does very well um we mostly do it for him to interact with other kids um and now we're back home so i do want to share with you guys i am 30 weeks a little over 30 weeks and um I've just been thinking a lot about work and how my fourth school year is coming to an end because obviously I'm going to have to get it. <laughs> Careful with the phone, mama. You dropped it. Um, like I was saying, I will have to take some time off. It got me thinking about how this will then be the end of my fourth year and I'll be beginning my fifth year. And I was just kind of like, I have changed a lot since i first started i struggled a lot and i've been open about it on youtube about how when i first started i struggled with behavior um i didn't feel very confident in my job as an slpa i felt like i was having to learn a lot from other people i was consistently looking up things on google and i just didn't feel very smart honestly i am sharing with you guys some things that i've changed over the past couple of years and number one being um, my space okay i've also been very open about that on here my job has never been consistent with space um i used to have to work in the hallway i've had to kind of go in while other teachers are on their lunch break or you know just work something out and luckily this year is i would say like the first time i get a very consistent space and that's been amazing um it's been great for me it's been great for the students that i work with it's been great just this to just have this space and make it all for speech therapy i get to store my items in there i'm not having to carry things around all the time um i've made it really cute i think with like some papers and stuff that i've been able to put up on the wall i have my schedule there i have my folders there it's just nice to consistently come back and know that my things are there and not having to kind of scramble um because that's something i used to not like about this job it was definitely a con where every day was different every day i mean i could be doing speech therapy outside i could be in the classroom i could be in the hallway with the partition like it was always something so i feel like that's definitely been the biggest change is advocating for a space getting a space and making it work the second thing i have drastically changed have been my expectations in speech sessions so having been with the same students for so many years now I think I have built these strong enough relationships with the students where the, we have like this mutual respect. But even with the newer students that I'm seeing for speech therapy, I now feel a lot more confident. And I feel like that's what it comes down to, right? You and knowing who you are, knowing where you stand. Like I am the teacher, you will be listening to me. You know the expectations, this is what they are. Um, and then I do give reminders often. So I've been a lot stricter on that and I feel that in turn, it has helped a lot with behavioral problems to go along with the behavioral issues. Um, I've worked a lot this year with teachers. And that's not to say I've never done this, I have in the past, but this year I have focused a lot, a lot 
on um, like kinder, first grade, second, sometimes even third grade teachers. And that is because I find that those, that group of students that I see are having the most trouble with vocab. And I would like to get them up to speed, you know, by the time they enter middle school or by the time they are reaching fifth grade and having to take um, like the state tests and stuff. So I'm getting with them and we're discussing things like vocabulary. We are discussing behavioral issues. Um, and when I say behavioral issues, I'm kind of wanting to see, are, are you seeing what I'm seeing in the classroom or is this only in speech? Because that helps me grow as a professional. If it's just with me, then I start to see patterns, you know, okay, they feel this way because blank or okay, they're, the this bad behavior is consistent in both the classroom and with me okay so what are we doing together to help this student um, it's very much like teamwork and I feel that this is the first year my fourth year as an SLPA that I see it that way I used to see things very individual I used to see speech therapy as well that's my job that's no one else's thing to take care of and it's just been very nice to see that growth within myself. So if you're watching this, <laughs> I urge you to collaborate with teachers. You know, like I mentioned, um, discuss vocab, discuss behavior, discuss if they're seeing improvement in the classroom the way you are in speech therapy. Ask the teacher, can you, un can you understand them? And when they're talking to you, can you understand them? You know, are they doing better in, I don't know, writing sentences? Um, when they raise their hand, are they participating more? It's gonna vary from student to student based off their goals, right? But I highly recommend you collaborate with teachers along with you know each individual student and talking about their goals, their expectations, and having to meet them where they're at. That has been a huge lesson for me as well. Um, just over the years, I've been able to tailor speech therapy and make it very individual for every student. I'm carefully choosing my words because what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm finally meeting students where they're at. I feel as though I used to generalize kids. So if I would get an entire articulation group, third grade, fourth grade, second grade, whatever it is, I was making it very general and the activities I, were, I was doing was very general, which is fine. But I think this year I'm just a lot tighter on my data and I'm looking back at the data and seeing, oh, hey, like Karina's not picking this up. The other two or three students are picking up the L sound and Karina's not. So I'm making time to pull them at another time aside from that group and maybe see them in another group um, where we can get more individual time or a smaller group, whatever that looks like. I'm very much like meeting the kids where they're at this year and i'm finally seeing or accepting that when a student doesn't progress it's not a reflection of me and my work and that was very difficult for me as a new slpa because you want everyone to eventually leave from speech therapy to be dismissed you want the parents to see progress and that's just not always the case it took a long time to accept that um you know, some, some students just pick it up faster than others. Um, some students, it takes a little bit longer, you know, or some students have deficits in other areas. So you have to kind of meet them where they're at. So that's been a huge lesson for me. <laughs> Last thing I've very much changed has been the times with my supervising SLP. I've made it very clear like we should have a set date we should have a set time to do these observations and do the whole indirect observations and stuff and that was more so for me um believe it or not my first and second year it comes down to that confidence piece again i would get very nervous when my supervising slp would say hey i'm gonna see you at this time or would just drop by i felt as though my speech sessions had to be perfect and i had to prove myself that i was good enough or that i know what i'm doing and that's just not me anymore now i know you know i've been doing this for years i like what i do i think i'm good at it <laughs> and I'm, I'm just confident in what i do so anyway i implemented the whole time thing because it was saving me like this stress it was saving me from scrambling through papers and figuring out what the perfect activity would be for an Arctic group. Um, so having a set day and a set time still does help, even though I'm confident in what I'm doing. It helps me just, again, know what to expect. And it helps me write it down in my schedule. It helps me um, 
kind of flow in my work, you know, because as an SLPA, you're always doing different things. And I'm sure as an SLP, you are too, right? It's, it's either an eval or you're in a meeting or today I have to go to another school to do this. It's always something. So SLPAs work very much the same. It's always something. I'm either going to take a kid back to class. Um, I'm pulling somebody else. Um, I am answering emails, uh, meeting with people for observations. It's always something, right? So just a little predictability in my schedule has very much helped me. So, well. so that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. It'll mean so, so much to me. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.